hello everyone welcome to my channel in this channel I upload sewing tutorials pattern drafting and diy please subscribe to my channel press the notification bell to get notified whenever i upload a new video and give me a thumbs up to enable this channel grow so in today's class we are drafting a dartless busy bodies dartless busy bodies so the measurement i'm working with is my shoulder bust my waist my, my hip the length of my pattern, my boss point, and my half length. So let's start. So this line you're seeing here is my starting line. I just drew one inch here. Rule one inch here as my starting line. So the shoulder I'm working with is 16 inches. 16 divided by 2 is 8. It was half inch. So this is my shoulder line. So for my neck line, I'll measure three inch. Then from this one inch, yeah, I will draw my one inch down. One inch, see it here. So I'll slant it from here to this place. can see so I'm going to rule this line down this is my arm skype so let me draw the same the same measurement here let me draw it down so yes eight and a half so I'll draw eight and a half down to make the line equal so I'll draw it down So get your arm skype, which from your shoulder to your chest line, you divide your bust measurement by 6 plus 1.5. My bust measurement, the bust measurement I'm using is 40. 40, 40 is the bust measurement, then divide by 6 plus 1.5, I have 8.1. So this is my 8.1. Yeah, exactly the line. So I'm going to rule it straight. So this is my chest line. You can rule it across, but it's okay like this. This is my chest line. So from here, my boss line is, boss point is 11. My under boss, my waist line is 16. In this pattern, we are not working with under boss. And the full length of my dress is 25 inch. So I'm adding one inch. To make it 26 as my allowance, 26 inch. So I'll just mark it here so I can get a straight line. 26. So let me rule it. It's my bust. my waist and my the length of my dress and this way i will also impute my hip measurement so we are going to divide our measurement so my bust measurement is 40 divided by 4 i have 10 so these are 10 inch my waist measurement is 36 divided by 4 is nine. So place your nine inch here. My hip measurement is 44 divided by four is 11. So place 11 here. So this is 11. Place it here on the length of your dress. So we'll connect this line to this, to this. So this is my bust, my waist, my hip line and also the length of my dress. As you can see, our waist is not sharp there, so we just 
COVID. Feel it. Just smoothing it to make it curve. So now to the upper part. So we we'll look for the midpoint, which is four. This is our four. We we'll go in by one half an inch. Half an inch inward. So we we'll draw our line from here to this place. Then this other side. This is our chest line. You also impute your bust measurement here, which is 10. I normally add half inch for ease on this area. So this is our line. So we'll connect this to this line. So we are working the midpoint. So from here, from this our shoulder line to this half inch, then to this split. So you use your French curve to achieve it. But if you don't have French curve, just take one inch from this side, upward. Yeah. So dot. Just make a dot first. Then from here, you connect it to this place. For those who don't have French curve, then before you smoothen it. So for those who don't have French curve, from here to this place. And from that place, this half inch to this, you can see it's perfect. Just move one inch here, then shaping your, your curve. Then for the back, because we're using this pattern for the front and the back basic bodies, you can use to cut the front and the back because it's that less front and the back. So for the back arm O, from this line here, just curve it out. You don't have to take anything, just curve it out. Curve it out from here, straight down. So this is the back and this is the front arm O curve. Then the neckline, we have already slant our shoulder already. So from this neckline, if you want it to be four inch, you measure it from here to this slanted line, not this one, this one. If you want it to be four inch, if you want it to be three, if you want it to be five, measure from this place to this place, this slanted line, not this one, this slanted line. But for the purpose of this illustration, we we'll use three inch. Three by three, but you can as well extend your line to any to your desired length. So, but for the purpose of this illustration, we we'll just do three by three. So you can curve your line. arm or curve. Just curve the neckline. Or if you don't have French curve, you can just measure one inch here. Then just use the dotted line first before you smoothen it. So these are pattern. Then on this side, particular side, you take one inch up, then you curve it. I don't like mine straight so you just curve it a little then for your shoulder you can just take half inch when you're drafting it on your fabric you take out your allowance so here there's no allowance that i added allowance on the arm outside and on the bottom of the dress so the only place we need allowance now is this side. So if, if you're using 1.5, just mark your 1.5 here. Yeah. And on this side. Then you connect on your shoulder line too. 
So you come out to this. And we're shaping our our pattern and here to this place. Then to this place, to this 1.5. So these are allowance for your pattern. So these are allowance. So these are pattern. So the front, the back, you can use this pattern for front and the back. So the back neckline is one inch. You can make it deeper depending on what you want. So we are using one inch. Then you curve it from here. So these are our basic bodies. That our dartless busy bodies. So thank you for watching. Give